Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to quickly look at Renaissance Dream Charges, how you can get them and basically making your life easy. Now to unlock the charges you need to be max level and then you can take the quest from Kasaru in Voldraken called the Catalyst's Gift. Now to get charges on both your main characters and your alts you're going to have to basically do this quest on all those characters but it's a very quick quest uh, you basically take it fly to the point hand it in and then you're good to go from that point onwards you will receive one renaissance dream charge every single or well, sorry every two week period from initiation of the quest so make sure you do it nice and early and then you're able to expend renaissance dream charges pretty easily now each character can only hold up to eight but each character that's done the quest will receive a charge every two weeks. So you don't have to worry about ults. It's not a shared, you know, it's not like a, a loss of charge. Every single ult that's done the quest will receive a charge. So you should be able to gear up your ults quite quickly. Now with the charge, I suggest you only use it on veteran gear uh, or higher, preferably higher, champion level onwards. And ideally you want to focus on using it on set pieces only. So You'll see that here we're changing a cloak. It's not really so great. Yes, there is a stat change that we can possibly use, but ideally we want to actually use it on set pieces. Now be careful because you can change all the seasonal gear, but you won't obviously get the benefit from it. It won't consume a charge though, so that is important to understand. Then obviously if we take a look, I want to change these gloves. Uh, preferably the reason I want to change the gloves is obviously because they are part of the set bonus. So you'll see once we change them, we get part of our set bonus. Super duper important. What this means is that if you're not doing the content or you're just not getting luck with set drops, you can obviously now convert that gear. And that's that. It's pretty straightforward, very similar to obviously last season. So nothing's really changed. I think this system is probably as good as it's going to get. And I do think it's pretty solid. Uh, but that's going to be it for me. If you have any more queries, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, make sure you're max level and make sure you do it on your alts. Thank you and bye.